Hey guys, sorry if it is a little bit dark. Um, it's 6 p.m., but it's pitch black out, so I only have my lights around me. Um, so I'm trying. Hopefully this video turns out fine. So I finally received all of my little advent calendars in the mail. So I wanted to open them all to get it up way before Christmas. So if any of you guys wanted to get these for any of your small animals or a uh, cat, you can. Um, so obviously we're going to be opening these. It's going to be spoilers, but I figure that way you can see if it's worth it. Um, I do think they're a little pricey. I mean, depending on what we get inside of them, but... We'll see. I got them on a buy two, get one free sale. So I did get a little bit of a better deal. But uh, yeah, let's just start. So first I'm going to open the hamster, gerbil, mouse, and rat advent, advent calendar. It is 12 days and it has a picture of a hamster right here. And then just days 1 through 12 in the doors. So I guess we'll just start and see what we get. Um, if you didn't want to open all the doors, you can just also like take the tape off and lift the lid. But that's not fun. Um, and in the door it says, put on your matching Santa hats. And then the little chew toy is, oh, it's a little snowflake. That's actually pretty cute. I'll probably give this to my mice. They have a better chance of chewing stuff like this than my, um, hamsters. And since I have so many foster hamsters, I don't like switching this kind of stuff around. So I'll just give this to my mice. They'll like that. Um, that's pretty cute. So let's get into day two and I'll try going as fast as I can. Um, this says, tell them your favorite holiday story. And in here, oh my gosh. I can't get it out. In here is like a little ball. I don't know. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Day three. It says, garnish their food with a strawberry treat. And then this is a little like holly berry or mistletoe or something. Next is day four. We have a dowel. I don't know. It says make an obstacle course out of wrapper, uh, wrapping paper tubes. Number five says include an update about them in your holiday card and the little piece is a tiny christmas tree so most of these things i'm probably going to end up giving to my mice um honestly they're all like little wooden shoes uh, the next one says watch your favorite holiday movie together like with your rodent okay um, and we got one of these. A lot of them have holes. Actually, so far, two of them have holes through it. So I wonder if we can string these on, like, uh, some of those metal hanging things or even a piece of string and make, like, kind of a garland. Um, so getting into day seven. It says, refresh their habitat before Santa's arrival. And it has a piece of candy. Number eight says send an encouraging text starring them and this has a teeny tiny pine cone oh my gosh i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to get this out teeny pine cone cute all right on to day nine it says stuff their stocking with hay and there's a little christmas tree so these are cute um, again, I don't know if they're super universal. Uh, do a holiday photo shoot, uh, inside their habitat. This has a piece of, like, pumice stone or something. Um, honestly, I'm going to tell you my opinion right now. I don't think it's worth $16. Definitely wait for it to be on sale. I wouldn't have bought this full price. Like I said, I got it buy two, get one free. Which, depending on what's in the other ones, I think is fine. This one says, let them open their present early. This is one of the first things I actually think is going to be good for a hamster. It's like a little willow ball with some green stuffing inside. It's just like paper, safe for them. And number 12 has one of these things that I don't like. It says, Merry Christmas, and there's a teeny reindeer. So that's pretty cute. So 
this is what I was saying about being able to just open the whole box if you wanted to save the box, but they are perforated. You can see all the things it says and then it has the little container. I don't think this one's worth $15.99. Um, like I said, I think it's cute for being on sale. You do get quite a few little chews and different varieties of things. Um, but for the most part, they're all these little tiny wooden cutouts. So I don't know, you make your decision on that. Next, we will do the 12 Days of Thrills Guinea Pig Rabbit Chinchilla Advent Calendar. So this one has a picture of a bunny on it with a stocking. Um, and like many of you guys know, I do have rabbits in my care right now. So I thought I would get this one. Um, and I kind of figured they might be universal for the rodents too. So we'll see. Hanging artificial mistletoe in their home. Uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be the exact same thing. So they're slightly larger, but here's a bell. This is literally the exact same thing that was in the other one. Um, I'm just gonna open this cause now I have a feeling that everything's literally exactly the same. And this one was actually $19. So this one was quite a bit more expensive. And we're just gonna open it up and see. So yeah, it's literally all the same stuff. We got a pumice stone, we got a block, pine cone, a little stocking, another one of those willow balls I like. I have no idea why this one is more expensive. I, uh, that feels like a ripoff to me because literally some of the stuff is exactly the same. Um, And I'll show you a pile of everything together and I bet you can't even guess what came in what. So yeah, I honestly don't think this one is worth it at all. This is totally a ripoff. Don't buy this. If you're gonna get one, get the hamster one because it's gonna come with the same stuff that the other one came in. So to show you exactly what I was talking about, this is the pile of stuff that came in the rabbit and the hamster box. Like we got one of these in each one. They're literally exactly the same. I got a pine cone in each one. I got one of these in each one. Like the little toys are pretty much the same in just different shapes. So like we got one of these in each one, a ball in each one. Not worth it, not worth the price difference. So I just picked up the PetSmart uh, advent calendar for small pets and I thought I would just put it in this video since uh, I haven't uploaded that yet. So this one is 24 gifts, so double what the Petco one had. Um, this one was $12.99, so it's actually less expensive than the Petco one. Um, and this is a mixture of chews and treats. So let's just start opening and see what we got. So the first thing are these little green things. I'm actually not sure what they are. I'm gonna look before I give them to any of my animals. Um, but that is what's in day one. Day two has this little Christmas light chew toy that is super cute. Day three. Oh, day three has a little Timothy Hay uh, chew thing. I'll give these to the rabbits. I don't know what it's supposed to be shaped like. It kind of looks like a frog to me, but I doubt that's what it is. Oh, maybe a wreath with a bow on the top. I don't know, but that's good. I will give that to the rabbits. And I'm sure there's some sort of nutritional uh, information on here, or if not online. Oh, on the bottom. Okay, yeah, there is. So those are rice puff chews, so those should be fine. And then we have the Timothy Hay Chew. So number four. Those rice puff things aren't awesome for all the time, but they're fine every once in a while. This is like a little Christmas bobble uh, chew toy. So number five, we have more of those little rice puff chews. Like I said, these aren't great all the time, but they are fine every once in a while. And these are a small um, piece. Number five, so number six is right here. Another chew, it's like a candy corn, or candy corn, it's like a candy cane little chew here. I like that these are more colorful and festive too than the other one. Number seven, we have one of those rice puffs. Oh, two of those rice puffs, actually. Red and green one. Those look like Cheeto puffs. Number eight. Some of these are kind of hard to open because of how it's sectioned inside. Number eight is a little present chew. Number nine, 
is another rice puff. Number 10. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to get that out? It's another present. Number 11 is another rice puff. Chew. Number 12. Oh my gosh, how cute. Number 12 is a little gingerbread man chew. That is super, super cute. Okay, so now we flip it over to the back. We have number 13, which is more of those little rice puff chews. I'm gonna have to grab a baggie for these. Number 14. I have a feeling they're gonna be similar, but it is kind of cool. Yeah, another little bobble. Number 15. Another Timothy Hay. Number 16. Another Christmas light. And number 24. Another gingerbread man. Okay, that's pretty cute. Overall, this was way better. It's less expensive and you get way more variety of stuff. Let me get the other two things out and I'll show you. Um, everything it came in. Okay, sorry it's kind of messy here, but you get a bunch of different rice pops in different shapes and sizes. You get a, quite a few different wood toys um, in different textures and shapes. These are more detailed. You also get those cute gingerbread chews and the Timothy Hay chews. Overall, you get more stuff for less money and a better variety. So I would definitely go with the PetSmart one. I don't think those Petco ones were worth it. I liked the cat one, but not either of the small animal one so definitely go for this one uh next let's do the cat and advent calendar this one is a little bit larger so let's have a little more hope for this one um i will begin by opening them one by one and we'll see so this one says freshen up their breath with a mistletoe kiss and it has a little candy cane um as you guys know i use my cat toys for cat toys and ferret toys these are going to be really popular to stash um Number two says coordinate your Christmas card photo look, and it has a ginormous crinkle ball, actually. These are big hits in my house. Number three says cuddle together with their favorite with a favorite holiday movie. This toy is also fairly large. It's like a little jingle bell toy. Everyone's staring at me now. Um, number four, holy moly. Number four is this little Christmas feather toy. So far, this is totally seeming way more worth it than either of the other ones. And this one was only $12.99. Why the heck was a rabbit one $18.99? That is just a ripoff. That's literally just not a good deal. Don't buy that. Oh, okay. So number five, we have a little Christmas bobble. It says decorate their cat tree, which I do do instead of having a real... Christmas tree. I'll put lights around their cat tree. Um, play hide and seek with a treat. And this has a little red fuzzy ball. Number nine says transform a gift box into a cat toy. And this has a little candy, like a fake candy toy. Um, number eight. Make 2021 custom ornaments for them. This is another one of these toys, which are gonna be a lot of fun for my cats, just in reverse colors. Number nine. Says make them some homemade holiday treats, and it has another one of those little cat balls or jingly bell balls or something. Uh, number 10 says snuggle up with a holiday book and it has another one of these crinkle balls which are actually really good sizes usually the ones that come are super tiny so I like these bigger ones because they're not going to get stuck under stuff as easy number 11 has a green fuzzy ball and then number 12 says begin shopping for their stocking stuffers and has a little Santa little mouse thing so overall this one was definitely the best i would say if you're gonna get one of the like small animal ones definitely get the hamster one because it has the exact same stuff in it and it's way cheaper 
Um, I have no idea why the other one was so expensive. That's a total ripoff. Don't buy it. Um, this one was awesome. I liked everything that was in it. They're going to be a lot of fun. You actually get some substantial toys that are going to last. And uh, I do realize this is meant to be two toy boxes, but for them to come in the same, like literally, if I just pick up a pile of this stuff, like you cannot tell what came in what box. There's no way. So I don't think that that was worth it. Obviously I'm gonna use that stuff, but whatever. At least now you guys know. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Um, these were not anywhere as near as good as the Halloween calendar, but that was a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please like and subscribe for more animal content, and I will see you guys in my next video.